In this video we're going to look at replacing the power jack port on the Asus PU551 L laptop. So the reason the machines come in is simply it won't charge. So if we plug the power adapter in there, there are a series of lights on the front panel here and you would expect to get a charging light come on in orange there um, to show you that the machine was was charging um, but we're not getting any of that so there's a, a, a fault with the jackpot we've already put a voltmeter on the charger itself uh, just to make sure that that's working okay and we're getting the correct voltage there so um, to replace this one turned over first thing you do take the battery out there are a number of screws that need to come out first um, four in the back under where the battery sits two three and there's one in there but it's actually missing on this machine um, two hinge screws these are quite long these it's got one and two there Two at the sides, those four are all the same length, the longer screws that come out. And then there are another four along the front edge. Two, three, and the last one. And that's all the screws out of the machine. You then need to take your um, case opening tool and slide it along the broken edge again with this just a case of um, taking your time and finding a way in once you're in run the tool along the edge and it'll slowly break the clips with them broken the bottom of the laptop comes off with the bottom of the laptop off the um, jack port is sat here just above the fan um, and the cable runs under the hinge along the fan housing and plugs into the motherboard here Try and zoom in a little bit so you get a close up view there. So this is the jack port here. And then the cable runs under the hinge, runs along the outside of the fan housing, along and plugs in here. So the next thing that we're going to do is to undo the hinge. So we're going to take first of all the two wires here um, that go to the Wi-Fi card and they just unclip run the wires around the outside of the housing so that they come out the way and that's that done once they're out the way then you can undo the three screws in the hinge um, Two and three. The hinge then will <coughs> fall back out of the way of the cable 
as you can see there the hinge is pushed back out the way there's a screw through the jackpot itself holding it in place so that one needs to come out also and with that one out <coughs> it's a case of unplugging the cable which is simply a case of pulling it out and then you follow it round and finally it comes out from under the heatsink. Now I don't know whether you'll be able to see that on the screen if I can get it to zoom in. Just can't, struggling to get that in focus. Simply there's a the cable is broken off the back here. Uh, that piece of cable there is supposed to be fastened to the back of the jackpot. So to replace them, we're going to take our new jackpot, sit it in under the edge of the fan housing, seat it in place. struggling a little bit to get it in the right position just to get the screw back in That's the jackpot screwed back in place. <clears throat> and then with the port back in place, we've got to feed the cable back round the outside edge of the fan housing. And then it goes round and plugs back into the motherboard. With that sat in in the right position, you can fold the hinge back over, then tuck the Wi Fi cables back round the fan housing as well. They clip under there, put the connectors back on. Very delicate, them, so take your time, make sure you get them seated correctly. three screws back into the hinge there's arrows actually marking where the three screws go um, one of the screws comes right through the um, case then through the hinge into the um, bracket so you need to make sure that you don't put the screws in the wrong place going back into the hinge and then hope 
hopefully from there. Put the bottom back on. Battery back in. And as you can see, or can you see, with the charger plugged in, um, we've got a charging light on the front of the machine again. Unplug it, light goes out, plug it in, light comes back on, and that's the jackpot replaced. Thanks for watching.